Ah! Curse you delicious summer snack treat. My brain is screaming at me. Anthony here for D News, and I do not have any statistics on brain freeze related deaths. Many of you will say that that's because there haven't been any. But that does not stop me from thinking of brain freeze as the single most dangerous thing that can happen in summer. But what exactly causes it? Brain freeze is so serious it has a scientific name, sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. You drink or eat something cold very fast and boom, your head feels like someone's trying to blow it up with their psychic powers. Your mouth is highly vascularized, meaning there's a lot of blood flow going through there. Makes sense, it's right between your head and neck. Two super important arteries are right in the back of your throat. The internal carotid artery, which gets the blood to your brain, and the anterior cerebral artery, which sits right where your brain tissue starts. So right there in the back of your throat is where your brain's getting all the stuff that keeps it alive. And it's a pretty soft, vulnerable part of you. You eat something cold really quickly, and all of a sudden the temperature in that part of your body drops fast, and those arteries contract really quickly, triggering receptors in your meningus, which is your brain's outer cover. Your brain is basically alerting you to the fact that it thinks thinks you're suddenly freezing it to death, even though it's just one spot on your body that's cold. Neuroscientists actually really love to study brain freeze because it's the only controllable headache we have. You know, you can't make someone have a migraine, but you can give them brain freeze and then study what's happening in their brain and body and use that to treat other more serious types of headaches. By the way, if you've got brain freeze, the best thing you can do to get rid of it is to curl your tongue back up into that back roof part of your mouth, that spongy bit, that's the border of the arteries. So your tongue will still be body temperature and you can use it to equal things out really quickly. You can also not eat ice cream sandwiches like a nightmare pig, I guess, but I have never been able to stop doing it. I love the complex sort of underpinnings to all the simple things that happen to us throughout the day. If you are into that stuff too, you'll probably wanna check us out on TestTube. It's the new discovery digital network that we're a part of that's all about science and curiosity and making sense of the world around us. One of my favorite shows over there is Pick Your Poison. Annie Gauss compares two horrible poisons and how they actually affect your body and then you vote on which one you'd rather have kill you. Go check it out and subscribe here for more D-News. <laughs>